Hey everyone, Gromies Pixels here, and welcome back to a Berry Tart Legacy. So first off, I just want to explain some things real quick. So this is actually my second part or second time filming this part, and basically I had some technical difficulties that just were messing up my audio. I don't fully know exactly what was going on. I don't even know if I fully fixed it or not, but I'm going to try this again. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it's fine. Uh, but anyways, my I have a Blue Yeti microphone, and so it has a USB style uh, plug-in thingy, <laughs> plug, a USB plug, I guess, and I changed the USB plug into a different port on my computer, so I changed that around hoping that it will fix it. I don't know, maybe it will, maybe it won't, I don't know, uh, but basically it was just causing my audio to sound really just fuzzy and bad and... I don't know, I've just noticed that like over time my microphone has been getting like less quality or like the audio has become less quality. So hopefully this is a little better, fingers crossed. But anyways, so in the last part of A Berry Tart Legacy, we just planned Porcelain and Sterling's birthday party and that was kind of it. It was mostly just a crazy day of cleaning and just getting everything put together. Also, we found out that Chantilly is pregnant, which I'm super excited about. Uh, she has this cute look, look, look at that. Look at the little baby bump, oh, so adorable. So yeah, Chantilly's pregnant. She's actually off to go um, to, um, whoops, I just loaded up my game again. Uh, but anyways, she's off to go complete an opportunity. And so Eclipse is uh, going to fill the, doggy bowl, the food bowl, and he's going to also clean the house and just get things ready for the party. Um, I want to show you guys some things that I worked on. So over here we have our new greenhouse. Um, I need to download some tiles that are like glass so that I can put like a glass roof on it. Uh, so I'm going to go download that. So right now it has like no roof at all. Uh, but then I wanted to change it so it didn't look so modern. So I put in these window paned um, windows or these glass paned windows, that's what I mean. And then it has some cute like little string lights and this is the garden, I added like a little pathway. I don't know, I think it looks so much cuter. It fits in so much better with the house and being that they you know, have quite a bit of money to, I'm gonna pause real quick. Since they have quite a bit of money to spend, I just kind of splurged it a bit. Um, I put this little sitting area which I need to recolor and everything, I just haven't had a chance yet. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty in here. Like, look at once there's a roof and everything. Oh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh, that sunset though. Um, but yeah, so there's just string lights and then our plants are over here and they're kind of, you know, divided up based off of what they are or how they grow and stuff. So, you know, it looks uniform. Um, and then also, oh wait, I said I was gonna keep it paused. Um, and then over here is some plot lines for well, <laughs> plot lines, sounds like I'm like writing a book. These are our plot lines. Um, these are lined, lines of dirt, uh, lines of dirt that we're going to put our orchard on. So we're going to get like apple trees and lemon trees and whatever kind of other trees we can get and just line them up right here and make it like a cute like little orchard. I'm really excited about it and I can't wait to have Chantilly work on it. I don't know if we'll be able to get it to get to it this part or not, but we'll see. And then I also decided to extend the kitchen just a little bit. I just bumped it out by one square along with the porch and just gave them a little bit more room for now. Um, overall, I haven't changed anything about the house and I need to I need to expand it. And I don't know whether it's just to expand the house or just to demolish all of it. I'm kind of leaning towards demolishing all of it, but I really love how cute and quaint this house is. So I'm kind of just procrastinating on it and just delaying it a bit to see if I like it better. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so let's see. So mint is here, mint julep. I don't think we invited too many people. Uh, but I mean, you know, that's fine. We don't need a huge birthday party. It's just for the two little kids. Oh, look at he's playing. No, how about you play right here with blocks? And how is Sterling doing? He's going to have to have his diaper changed soon. But hopefully Chantilly will be able to make it back in time so that we can... Um, have the party in time for her. And then, oh, she wants to eat cobbler with watermelon. A lot of you guys in the last part in the comments were like, Brittany, have her eat watermelon so she can have a girl. And I'm like, I don't like to cheat. I don't like to, you know, do stuff like that. Because it, it, to me, it is a bit of cheating. And I mean, like, I don't know. I might do it. So I'm locking that in, having her eat cobbler with watermelon. We'll see if that helps or not. I don't know. Um, oh, Sterling's crying. Okay. Let's come, oh, what is that? Oh, 
We have Louie here playing in this room where I put the, I had to replace the roof and now there's like a line. I gotta delete that later. Um, and then we have Mint down here playing with Snowflake and is Rivulet here? If Louie's here, wouldn't Rivulet be here? Oh, who's this? Who are you? Carol, Carol Cake. She's here, she's pregnant and she's bringing key lime pie. Weird that she wouldn't bring cake. <laughs> I'm kidding, that was a horrible joke, oh my gosh. Okay, oh wow, the outfit though. We have so much in common. Everyone, okay, just because Chantilly's not here, everyone needs to back off from Solar Eclipse. Let's have him come, friendly introduce himself to Louis, even though I'm pretty sure they already met. Um, and I don't know what outfit Louis's wearing. Is this, yeah, that, that's his outfit, right? Is that his regular outfit? I can't remember. And as, she, blah, 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 blah. as soon as Chantilly is done, she'll be here. I was like putting all my words together. Oh, Snowflake, here girl, get out of the way. Where is, yeah, I guess Rivulet didn't make it. Maybe she's busy or something. I don't know. Um, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. My B. Okay, let's see what's everyone's like. Okay, everyone's just standing here talking. Oh, oh, awesome. Who knew fishing inside a supermarket fish tank would be so rewarding? You just caught yourself a handful of interesting fish. Feel free to eat them or put them in your own fish tank. I want to see. Oh, we have produce in here that we need to sell too. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got tuna. We got salmon, goldfish, doitsu, koi, and karimono, karimono, ki, koi, ki, oh my gosh, running, koi. Oh my gosh, so we got like some fishies. Oh, we should make like a cute like little pond and put the fish in the pond. Can we do that? Or does it have to be a fish tank? I don't know. Um, okay, let's wait for Chantilly to get here to age up the boys. Even if like everyone, you know, the party leaves or whatever, that's fine. Like I don't care. I'm not gonna stress about it. And I really want Louie and um, Solar Eclipse to become friends. So go. <laughs> Louie just cares about playing with Snowflake. Snowflake girl, how about you go pee outside? Because you got to. And then she'll also come inside and sleep. And is Chantilly here yet? Yes, here she is. Yes, girl, get in. And oh, wow. That outerwear, though. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, just become friends, guys. Be friendly. Get to know each other. Some dudes about music. And um get to know. Okay, girl, we can we can take a break from that. Okay, so let's have Chantilly come. Oh, <laughs> we gotta buy cakes, guys. Goodness, you would think with me filming this for the second time that I would like, you know, how to do know how to do this, but like I don't. Um, okay, so let's just do two different birthday cakes. That works. Um, and I say we age up uh, Sterling first. You know, why not? Let's do it. Sterling. Yay! Oh, I'm so excited. And I think in the next part, Chantilly should have her baby. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. That'd be really awesome if she does, though. Oh, look at they're becoming friends. Yay! Okay, so we're going to go age up Sterling and let's have um, solar come down here. Okay. Let's get some photos. Look how cute this is, like, with a little archway and everything. Oh, can I get solar in there? There we go. Aw, cute. Okay. Okay, come on, let's age him up. I'm ready. I'm ready. Even though I already know what he looks like, guys, because, you know, second time playing this around. <laughs> oh, he's like, Mom, you're smothering me with your body. That's so awkward of a thing to say. Okay, let's see. Is he gonna age up? Come on, buddy. Okay. Oh, they're just like playing all the instruments upstairs while this child sits on the ground. <gasps> Yay! Perfect. Aw, he's cute. Oh, he's adorable. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't even. Okay, so let's age up Porcelain next. And then I think I'll go in and give them makeovers. And I'll show them on screen. Why not? Why not, guys? It'd be fun. It'd be chill. Uh, but yeah, so let's age up Porcelain. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I am so excited. Although, girl, please get out of the outfit. It's like scaring me. 
He wants to quit his job. <laughs> Buddy, just because you have 100,000 simoleons does not mean it's time to quit your job. Trust me. Okay, so, okay, how about everyone just stops playing all the instruments? Look at them. They're like just playing all of our instruments. And Carol, I don't know where Carol went. I think she left. <laughs> where did Carol go? Oh, see, everyone's leaving now. Great. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, I almost missed it. I don't want to miss it. Okay, let's see. Aww. So cute. Oh, I love this family so much. They are so adorable. Oh, I can't. They're just too cute. Okay, age him up. Age him up. Oh, you just take our cake, but you don't celebrate the kids' birthdays. He just comes and eats our cake. It's fine. <laughs> it's chill. It's weird having, like, two toddlers. Because, like, oh, she's like, wait, pause. I want a photo of that. That's so cute. She's looking at her belly. Oh, okay, whoops. Okay, sorry, guys. I have to. I have to. Oh, my gosh. This is the worst photo I've ever taken. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we just... Never mind. Just admire how cute it is, guys, okay? Oh, he's clapping. Okay, age up porcelain. I cannot believe he is a child, guys. I remember when he was first born. Oh, my gosh. I can't. That's so weird to me. That is so weird. <gasps> yes, age up, little guy. Oh, yay. Okay, perfect. We get to choose his trait. Um, in the last part, or well, not the last part, but the part that you guys didn't see the first time filming this, I gave him the artistic trait because I was maybe thinking he is a genius, so he is very smart, but he's also a slob, so he's a little bit messy, and I feel like maybe being artistic, you know, he has his art everywhere, he's a little messy with it, but, you know, he's really smart, and he knows how to make really awesome art, so that's why I decided to give him. Um, I think it's a cool direction to go. But let's hop in and, whoops, that's not what I want. Oh, look at his little eyes. Okay, let's hop in and give him a new outfit. I hope this is okay that I'm just putting this on camera, like, or on screen. Um, I don't know, I feel like, you know, dressing them up with you guys. And plus, like, children and toddlers are so much easier to dress than, like, teenagers and young adults. It takes me forever with them. But with kids and stuff, I only have so much um, stuff, so, you know. Oh, that's cute. We are going, We it's spring and it's going into summer. So maybe give him something that reflects that. I'm not going to give him like this. I feel like it's too hot. It's going to be too hot to wear that. Uh, I kind of like, this is cool. That's kind of cute. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. And maybe some shorts. Hmm. Maybe these ones. Actually, in the last, or not the last one, oh my gosh, in the part that I filmed of this previously, the first time around, I gave him a completely different outfit, and I was like, this is so ugly, guys, like, I need to change this, so now it's like I'm going in and getting to change it, so that's good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry, guys. And then we're going to go with the cargo shorts, and then maybe just some tennis shoes, keep it casual. Maybe like these. I actually did not use any custom content. Huh. I like that though. Okay, so let's change this up and then we'll change his hair. Um, let me pull up my... Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, so I have... I have this website that I go to that I have palettes on where it helps me keep track of the certain hex codes. These things, the hex codes, uh, for my... Berry Sims because I like to use specific uh, colors for them, and so um, that website's down, so I can't get to it. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ballpark it here, guys. Um, give him like a cute like little yellow jacket. That works, and we'll just go with a bright white T-shirt. Make it nice and crisp and clean. Ooh, I like that. And we'll just make it like this, but then just darken it a bit. I'll go in and use the actual, like, hex code colors for this, though. Um, okay, that looks cool. And then the shorts, maybe just keep them, like, a neutral color. Like that. Yeah, that's cool. And we'll 
I'll just do all that. Okay. Like I said, I'll go in with the actual hex color codes and change this up. Um, let's make them yellow, actually. Let's make... Yeah, like that. And then let's make this white. And we'll make this black. Whoops. Rather dark gray. We'll do dark gray. Or maybe... No, I will do that. Okay, cool. That works for now. Um, like I said, I'll go in and change it to the right colors. But outfit-wise, it's so much better than the one that like you guys will never see. So, um, and then the hair that I chose for him, I think I went with this one, the one that he already had. He just looks super cute with it. Like I can't get over it. Like it's so adorable. Um, and then for eyebrows, I think I just kept them. These ones are pretty cool, actually. And then we'll go with these. That works. He's cute, though. So, guys, this is what little porcelain looks like. And he's adorable. He's really cute. I can't really tell, like, who he looks like. Um, he actually kind of looks a little bit more like Solar Eclipse-ish. Um, but then, I don't know. I can't tell. You guys comment down below. Let me know. Does Porcelain look more like his mom or like his dad? Um, and I'm excited to see a closer up of Sterling. What he, like, compare compare it to uh, Porcelain here. Uh, but, yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, and I got to change out Porcelain's bed and everything. Oh, he's cute. Okay. I really hope they have a girl, though. Like, I really want a girl. Oh, I don't know why I started playing sounds. I was like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, hopefully this next baby's a girl. If it is, then I'll, like, I'll stop with them having babies. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, for some reason, Sterling keeps aging up with these blue eyes, these very vibrant blue eyes. I have no clue why. I don't know where he got these blue eyes. Obviously, you know, Solar has yellow eyes, and Chantilly has, uh, white-gray kind of color eyes. So, um... I don't know how this happened, but I decided that I was going to keep it, that this is okay. So that's what I'm going to go with. Um, I think the hair I gave him was this. I just, like, love this hair on, like, little kids. Oh, okay, this is cute, though. <gasps> okay, I have to go with, like, this little tuft one. Okay, look at him. Look at how adorable he is. I love his little cute ears. Like, look at those. Look at how cute they are. Oh, he's adorable. And he actually looks pretty different from uh, Porcelain. Like, they actually don't look like super similar which I thought they did at first um when I went when he was first born and I had to go name him and everything so at first I thought like he like looked like porcelain like a twin or like something like that and he doesn't he actually looks really different so it'll be really interesting to see them age up and see how that goes um, I'm just redoing the outfit that I gave him and it's the cutest little hipster outfit. Oh my gosh. It's adorable. Uh, I think I gave him this, but I kind of want to give him boots now. Oh, those are cute. Oh my gosh. I can't deal. Maybe like these little lace up ones. <gasps> That's adorable. Oh, look at the little moccasins. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, the little slip ons. Okay. I kind of like, um, kind of like these. Okay, look at how cute this is. Like, guys, I can't. I can't. Um, it's too adorable. So for uh, Sterling, I'm kind of keeping his color scheme a little bit more towards, like, how Chantilly's is. And Porcelain is a little bit more of a mixture because he has a little bit more of, like, Solar Eclipse's coloring and stuff. So that's what I'm going with for them is, like, for their own color schemes is keeping it like this. Okay, let's do that, and I'll just keep the gray as it is. Like I said, I will go in and change um, all this to the correct hex code, uh, specific colors and everything. I will go do that off camera when that website loads for me. I think it said that it's like updating or something, but yeah, so that's Sterling, guys. Like, oh, he's adorable. Oh, I don't know why he has blue eyes, though. The blue eyes is throwing me, but I kind of like it. It's kind of it kind of makes him like the black sheep of the family. He's a little bit more unique, a little bit different, and I really like that. Did I select? Okay, delete. Anytime now, game. But yeah, um, so yeah, comment down below. Who do you think Porcelain looks more like out of his parents, and who do you think Sterling looks more like? Does Sterling look a little bit more like Chantilly or 
I don't know, like porcelain and everyone just looks, ugh. they, I don't know, I can't tell, I really can't tell, but um, everyone's freaking out because they can't get anywhere. Oh, okay, so let's have him come get a slice of his own cake, eat it and everything. I'm kind of sad that Rivulette wasn't able to make it because I wanted Chantilly and her to talk and for Chantilly to tell her that she's pregnant. But I guess she, no, let's go put uh, Sterling in his high chair. So um, I'm going to have him read this pregnancy book because he w has the wish to do it. And um, Chantilly is going to be popping that baby out like any moment. So we got to get reading. Got to get reading. Eat all, eat all, oh my gosh, I can't speak. Eat autumn salad at the park. That's like so specific. She's like, I specifically want to go and eat <laughs> at the park this autumn salad. Um, and I'm going to have to figure out how to make watermelon or cobbler with watermelon. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to do that, so I will look that up. Um, oh, it was a modest success. Okay. Um, what is he doing? He's, like, wa walking all the way around. Oh, and I'll change all their outfits, like, off camera. Um, do all their outfits. Oh, I, he already ate cake. I don't know why he's eating more cake. It's okay. Just, just read and then go to bed. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. He has work tomorrow, though. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm just going to leave this part here. Um, I'll have to go in and add Porcelain's bed and everything. And Chantilly, I will try and get her to eat cobbler with watermelon. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it in time. Um, I don't think it will be until tomorrow or like in the next part, tomorrow night, for um, her to, to have the baby. I don't think she's going to have it tonight. So yeah, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. Again, let me know down below. Like, who do you think Sterling and Porcelain look more like out of their parents? Um, obviously, like, Sterling has, like, these blue eyes that are so beautiful. But I don't know where he got them. I don't know where he got them from. But, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to click that button down below. If you want to see more of me, you can check out my links to the side. I have my Twitter where I ramble all day. And I also have my other YouTube channel where I make beauty and fashion videos. So make sure to check them out. Thank you guys again for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye.